Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Detron Does It. Of course, I am Detron, and I does stuff. And this week, uh, I went a little craftsman crazy in Lowe's and bought up a bunch of stuff. I have been using many of the Craftsman products for a long time. Finally decided to like flip the garage into all Craftsman brand stuff. I know there's a lot of people out there who are not really brand name junkies, and normally neither am I, uh, but I like the dependability of the stuff, the build of the stuff, the interchangeability of the batteries in the, in the different tools. I will probably be doing a bunch of smaller Craftsman videos, just giving you the ins and outs with some of the tools that you may or may not know how to use, but that's not why you click today's video. Today's video is all about this big guy down here in the box. This is an S2000 series toolbox. Uh, I have never owned a large toolbox. I got a bunch of smaller floating toolboxes. Uh, and I'll be honest with you, my garage is a mess. Uh, and so this toolbox is hopefully gonna eliminate some of that. Well, I mean, my lack of organization is probably the main problem. I'm hoping that the toolbox is gonna give me the step up that I need to finally become an organized DIYer-ish. I'm gonna assume that it's mostly set up, so there's not gonna be a whole lot of setting up, but I will give you guys a sort of walk through each compartment and then also give you some information about this Craftsman power strip that you can include uh, with the toolbox. Uh, as always, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notifications button and get some alerts. All right, guys, so let's break open the box and find out what we got to put together, if anything. So much for reading the instructions on the top of the box like I attempted to do. Thought it would be cool to just slide it out sitting uh, with the top up, which makes sense until you realize the wheels have to go on. So what I'm gonna do now is flip it upside down and put the wheels on. But after the wheels go on, there's not really anything else to do. These are some heavy duty wheels. Like, I don't know what the weight rating for these things are, but it's gotta be a lot. Like seriously, this is a, some really heavy duty stuff. Goodness, it is scorching in here. Uh, so the wheels are on, of course. Uh, I put this nifty little handle on, um, on the side, which clearly it comes equipped with, but this did not come with it. So this is a magnetic power strip, um, which if you're gonna have your toolbox stationary, or I guess even if you're moving around with it, um, having this power strip is gonna be extremely helpful because you've got a couple USB plugs in there in case you need to charge a cell phone. Um, then you have several, which by several, I mean there's six different um, outlets for you to plug in your power tools or tools if you're working on top of this thing. So this was a decent pickup. It was 25 bucks, uh, but I think it certainly will come in handy. I got this organizing box as well, which is for my screws and all of the things that I don't seem to keep track of right now. So that'll fit right into this middle drawer here. I'm gonna be able to close that up, no problem. I've already started putting stuff in the bottom, so I've got my drill inside. So it's able to stand up right inside of this bottom shelf, which they advertise it being nine inches deep. I'm gonna throw my handsaw and my circular saw down in the bottom of there as well. That way I can lock it in case the kids are ever out here in the garage. I don't have to worry about them grabbing the blade and cutting themselves. As you can see, it comes with a locking system up at the top. And just to emphasize um, the reason why I needed this centralized tool set, 
I've got plastic uh, bins holding some of my tools. So I got tools sitting on top of the bin. I've got random tools all inside of the bin. Uh, I got another toolbox also scattered with tools. Uh, and there's also stuff on this shelf that could be put in a toolbox. So definitely needed a larger toolbox. Now it's just about filling it up. So we've got uh, the hand saw down in the bottom as well as the circular saw. Put the drill down in the bottom. We're getting ready to start filling up the other drawers. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like from a filled up and space perspective. Okay, so for whatever reason, uh, this toolbox only comes with liner for the bottom shelf. So I bought some additional liner to be able to line uh, the inside of the other four drawers. So that is what we're going to do right now is get these lined. You don't need this necessarily, but I would prefer that my tools not be sliding and clanking around every time I uh, open this thing up. So. All right, so I've cleaned out the plastic bin with the tools that were in there, and I've got just about all of that stuff in here. And so even though the stuff's not organized and it's sort of just tossed in here right now, I feel so much better about having a central location to come and find my stuff. So I got screwdrivers and things up here. I got sockets and wrenches here. What do we have? Uh, random tools might go there. Slightly deeper drawer gives me a chance to store away my screws and nails and things. Random bolts that I have and own. And then this bottom one has all of my larger tools. Well, not all of them, but um, where I'll house my larger tools that um, I don't keep on my tool shelf. All right, guys, so that's it. This was our preview of the Craftsman S2000 Toolbox. I don't really have a review for you so far because clearly I just opened it. I'll put the dimensions of the toolbox, the price, and where you can get it down in the description. So make sure you head there to check out exactly the dimensions and where you can buy this thing at. Once I have had a chance to use it for a bit, functionality, how it wears over time, uh, I'll give you guys some more insight potentially in a later video. As always, please like, share, subscribe, um, cash at me so I can get a fan for this garage. My goodness. Hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate when you guys hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to grow the channel. I also like when you guys give me feedback in the comment section. I really try to work on it. Like. In one of my videos, they told me to get a, a hot mic or a lavalier mic or lavalier mic or whatever it's called. And you know what? I'm wearing it today. Thanks, guys. That's it. That's, that's all I got for today, man. I, um, I'm done. Till next time, guys. Peace.